What is up guys? How you guys doing? We are now live. Sorry if there's a little bit of lag on my end. I don't mean to. I uh, hope everybody's doing really well. Uh, I'm gonna try to wait a minute because I did post on social media on Instagram, Facebook, and other places and locations that uh, we're gonna be showcasing some brand new knives. Mostly because of the fact that we're leaving next week for Preppercon. What's going on everybody? Justin, Anonymous, Mystery coin collecting boy on the bayou snubster you cut myself by just cut myself by accident great <laughs> oh man <laughs> what's going on mason ghost what's up guys how you guys doing so um pay you're gonna have to stick around and earn the giveaway so don't think it's gonna be a super mega freebie won't be very hard though um and make sure you pay attention on the rules i put that in the video description uh but you guys got to pay attention anyway so we got a bunch of new knives in here. Uh, if you guys follow me on social media, like places like uh, Twitter. By the way, we're on Twitter, by the way. We just got there. We have like 13 followers. There's like no one's really following us on Twitter. So if you want to hit us up on Twitter, definitely go do that. Rock that out. Anyway, uh, we got a bunch of new knives that we want to talk about. You'll recognize a couple of them, but some of them, most of them you haven't seen before. And yes, we are going to be doing a giveaway, but uh, if you want to know the rules and what they are, you're definitely going to have to stick around because it's going to be worth your while and it's going to be talked about and really just, you know, the details are during the live stream. So, woo! All right, let me, let me move my stool so I can get into this. So, what's a Twitter, right? Um, I, I avoided Twitter for like four years. I don't know. <laughs> So, uh, we, like I said, we do have a giveaway. It's going to be epic. Like, epic, 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 awesome. Um, I don't think anyone's really done that, like, on our type of channel before. It's definitely going to be an awesome guilty pleasure type giveaway, so you're really going to want to stick around for it. So, uh, we'll get some of the smaller blades out of the way first. Um, this is going to be kind of like an unboxing, a showcasing. So, um, this, uh, these first cupping folding knives uh, come from Kaiser. Uh, they're opening up a new line of knives called Tangram. Uh, I didn't really know what they were, but they're supposed to be budget friendly. And little flippers. They're using the Sandvik steel, the same steel you would see in Mora's. But um, this has a kind of like a Warren Cliff design, reverse tonto, whatever you want to freaking call it. Liner lock. Um, they are really sharp out of the box, actually. And they have a really nice, smooth action. I like them. They're like 25 to 30 bucks. They're not really expensive. They're trying to jump into the budget category because I know you guys know that um, Kaiser jumps into the S35VN and the Titanium and some of the higher end knives. So the fact that they're going down to the budget category for most average people who don't who like knives but they don't like spending a lot of knives on knives, you know, it is what it is. This is a different knife. It's kind of cool though. Check it out. I really like the detail they put in the aluminum handle scales. It's really cool. This is a push button. That's not a switch blade. <laughs> it's not popping open. It's part of the locking mechanism. So it doesn't have a liner lock. It is a push button lock. Uh, I don't know how strong it'll be, but it's held in like an integral like back lock, like back in here. And you push, push that in. This is the other Tangram knife. It is called the Vector. This is the new knife from them. It's uh, rocking Sandvik steel as well. It's really freaking cool. I like it. I like the pocket clip. It's n I usually like the um, bigger knives. I like big knives. I'm from Texas. It's just my thing. Like, I don't need a big truck or a big house, but I like big knives. It's just what I, I just like big, huge pieces of freaking sharpened steel that are massive. So uh, this next knife, you guys are actually going to see a video on this, a fully dedicated episode on this particular knife, come tomorrow. The, I've had the video up. It's just there was a few pressing things that came before this that I had to get out of the way. So this one comes from my buddy Caleb from Priority Survival. If you're not subscribed to his YouTube channel, definitely go subscribe to his YouTube channel. It's called Priority Survival. But he actually just came out with a company called Knife's Edge, and he's running a Kickstarter on this knife. It is called the CMK2, I believe. And uh, it's a companion knife. And this is basically going to be my new uh, EDC companion knife. I'm going to be EDCing this for a few days. Um, well, sorry. It, um, during our road trip, actually. Sorry, not in a few days. Yeah, we're going to be doing it in a few days, not for a few days. Uh, I leave next week for the business road trip that we're going to be going on. We're going to be live streaming a lot. But here you go. So I'm going to switch sides. I'm, not, I'm used to editing this stuff out. So live stream is going to be kind of fun. 
but it's a hollow grind rocking d2 tool steel it's got my car to handle scales hollow pins it's really comfy and it came really really sharp you're gonna see the full test footage on this but um like i said there's gonna be a kickstarter for that if you would just go to uh, Priority Survival's YouTube channel, you'll see it that way. But I'll definitely post the link in the video description after the live stream is over. I can't do it now because I'm doing it live on my cell phone. So this bad boy is kind of kicking. I like it. Oh, looks good though, doesn't it? It's pretty cool. This And this kid's like 16, 17 years old. This is going to be a like a mid-tech production knife that he designed. So he's having a professional grade company. He just designed it. And um, that is, is a really good first step, especially when you're, um, you're brand new to the game. You definitely want to make sure that you have a professional company having your back if you don't have the tools and the ability to just mass produce a lot of knives. So the Kickstarter for that, I think that these knives are like 80, 90 bucks is going to be the early bird specials for this on Kickstarter, which based off its performance, totally worth its weight in gold. And then they have the sheath, really nice leather sheath, got the brass button snaps in really you hear that yeah that's pretty sweet right it's got a really nice big belt loop i i like it it's, it's really simple clean he kept it he clipped it clean and simple for his very first knife and i can definitely respect and appreciate that he didn't try to go crazy and flamboyant and way over the top he worked with a kind of a design that works it, it it's a knife that cuts it's a companion knife this is for people who really like fixed blades over folders and if you look the profile on that, I mean, it's not that much different. It's fixed over, over folder, but it really wouldn't be too inconvenient to carry. I, I dig that a lot. So, this now there's a knife in this box. A big knife in this box. And I'm going to unbox that. It's going to be a special unboxing. Oh, it's, like, it's like a fantasy, guilty pleasure knife for me on that sort. But, um, so... This is another NAF we're going to be talking about. Oh, man, you guys need to make sure you come in on this. Give, you guys make sure you're the... I'm watching the live stream and how many people are watching. The better this live stream does, the more things I can give away. So just give you guys a hint. The more people that are watching, the more things we give away. So just understand that. You let people know in the comments to share this out and do all that good stuff because the live stream will get better. And I, since I'm doing it live, I'll just pick stuff up randomly. And go, oh, hey, we'll give this away too. So... Um, I know for, I, I could get in trouble for this, but here in the United States, here in America, which most of the people watching are from here, um, there's a lot of Canadian jokes that I grew up with, like people like making fun of Canadians. However, something I noticed is here on my channel, some of my favorite gear that I've gotten in on my channel came from Canada and some of my best friends and some of the people that I respect the most came from Canada. So that guy was to show you that jokes and stereotypes really don't mean anything. And this knife definitely covers that ticket of being a very high-quality knife. This comes from a maker. His name is Kevin. He owns a company called Casey Knives. He's on Instagram. He only has like 900 followers right now. Um, he is a fantastic maker. Um, you'll see the actual this sheath rig. It's like a chest sheath rig. For carrying a large knife... It's probably the most secure and comfortable way to carry a large knife on your body. I thought it was going to be weird and ridiculous, but as soon as I put this on, it was amazing. It was basically a chest rig that keeps it going vertical down like that. But look at this. This knife right here is going to make you just like go nuts. You see that? <laughs> this is a big old honking piece of steel. And you think this knife is big. Look at that. It is 0.27 inches thick. We're definitely going to be doing a full field review on this bad boy too, but it won't. Uh, you guys won't see the video until after we leave because we literally leave in like four or five days for our field road uh, for our road trip thingamajig. So that's kind of how that's going. But um, this knife is special to me anyway because it's made out of a steel that I've never had a chance to mess with before, and I feel very grateful and very fortunate that a custom maker was willing to give me a chance to test this out, and this. Steel is made of Z-Wear. A lot of you guys may not have heard of Z-Wear, unless you're a knife person. If you haven't heard of that, you've probably heard of a steel called Crewware. Long story short, oversimplified version of that is Z-Wear and Crewware are basically CPM3V Gen 3 or CPM3V on steroids. The best way to kind of put it, it's, it, it, it's oversimplifying the concept. They're very similar in their makeup, but they have better toughness and they're a little bit easier to sharpen in the field, and they also have a higher wear resistance. So this is a huge slab of Z-Wear. 
The reason why I like Z-Wear is because it's tool steel, baby! But it has a very high chromium content and it also is made of 1% tungsten. Yes! So you're gonna have high hardness and high toughness and high corrosion resistance built into this blade natively. We're rocking micarta and G10 handle scales. I mean, look at the oh, look at the flawless finish on this thing. It is Cirque for sure, man. So like I said, the maker, his name is Case, his name is Kevin. He's on Instagram. His company is called KC Knives. It is freaking awesome, guys. This is a sharp, huge, heavy hitting chopper. And that Kydex sheath rig, you can see it if you go on my Instagram page, you'll be able to see it. Where I actually showed my wife sporting this. And I mean, she tried to steal it from me as soon as I got it. As soon as she put on the rig, she was like, oh my God, it's so amazing! And she tried to steal it away from me. So, um, oh, okay. So this will help me lead into this knife right here. So this knife right here, as far as like a trail knife, a survival knife, a camp knife, an all around do it, do get things done knife is one of my favorite designs. I love drop point knives. I love really big, thick knives and I like big knives. So I was talking to Kevin over the past couple days and told him that I wanted to, um, this is actually really close to what I would call my dream knife. You want one done in carbon steel. You definitely want a nice thick blade. You want a sharp blade. You want a sturdy blade. But I like drop points because they have a very strong tip. They're gonna And the, this particular type of tool steel has very solid corrosion resistance. Um, to give you an example, D2 tool steel has a chromium content of 12.68. And to be considered stainless steel, you need a chromium content of 13. Super nerdy history lesson for you guys. So... This has a chromium content of like seven or seven and a half percent, which is amazing because knives like the Yeti right here, which we'll talk about here in a minute, made it of 80 CRV2, has a chromium content of 0.8. It's a ruster. She is going to corrode and rust on you if you don't take care of it pretty quickly in the field. So this has seven percent chromium, which is really high. It's going to have some solid corrosion resistance. However, the one percent tungsten gives you high hardness, the corrosion resistance additionally because tungsten is corrosion resistant naturally. And then you have high toughness. It is just a ferocious metal that's extremely hard to work with, which is probably why they only put 1% tungsten in here because they want you to be able to use this knife. But long story short, that's what makes this knife so freaking amazing. It's you're kind of pseudo getting 8% chromium. So you're getting a very high, woo, $10. Oh man, dude, you're amazing, brother. Thanks, man. So will it butter bread? Uh, yes, it will butter your bread and some and it'll slice your pizza and kill your chickens and do everything you need to do. This thing is a beast. We've already done some preliminary testing. We're gonna save that footage too. But yeah, man, this thing is jamming. So we got this knife. We're rocking, looks like we're rocking the hex cam, uh, camo kydex. Like I said, this kind of like chest rigging paddle holster design is just phenomenal. It clicks in really good. It ain't going anywhere. I love it, love it, love it. So, um, all right, so we're going to move this stuff out of the way real quick for all the newcomers coming in. I'm like, what happened? What's going on? So we're moving all this stuff out of the way just so we can talk about the knife because we got to get into this. I have to tell a story first. So we're going to be calling a story time. So if you're expecting to come in because you saw a giveaway on the thing, you're like, oh, this is going to be easy. Nope, you got to watch. <laughs> so I suck you in. You want free stuff? You got to watch me. <laughs> so this knife right here this is going to help me lead into this i promise uh maybe otherwise i'm just going to be rambling about all the knives i love so this knife comes from my buddy sam over at ginger ninja outdoors however he just changed his knife company to like uh scolding flame forge or some craziness um it's it is, his new knife name is really really cool it's something forge um i just gave him some cool little thing what up dude thanks marlo what's up bud you're awesome man so this is the Yeti. This is a big old knife. So this is a custom Kydex rig by my buddy Chad Smith over at, um, oh my God, I can't remember his Kydex name. I'll, he's in Facebook. Look for the Yeti. You'll find it. Uh, look for the Yeti video. I literally have the Yeti video on my channel. But so this is a, like a 12 and a half inch blade. This is huge. So realistically, as far as I would say, one of the most perfect uh, like survival knives, hunting knives, you would want something like this. You could uh, hunt hogs, deer, you could, if you're stupid and you try to go after a bear with a knife, this is probably the size of knife you'd want. Uh, if you go after a bear with a knife, you're a retard, so just don't do that. 
So, um, shoot them with an arrow or just stay away from them because they're dangerous and they'll kill you. Um, so this is a huge honking knife. This is made of ADCRV2. I have to go through some painstaking lengths of taking care of it, keep, keeping grease and stuff off of it if I'm not using use and keep it oiled constantly. Because, like I said, the chromium content on ADCV2 kind of sucks. Just how it is. Uh, no! That's the funny thing. This is not a sword. This is That's the crazy thing. This is not a sword at all. This is a knife. This is a full-fledged knife because that thing's bigger. <laughs> so, woo! Yeah, buddy! 999, you're amazing. So, um, for you guys who are sending money to uh, for my trip, I appreciate you guys. Amazing. You guys are doing awesome. But I just want to let you guys know, we don't see those funds for like two months. So, if you want to send us money, um, there's something I actually... So, I'll lead into that. So, not too many people send us so much money. Um, so, on Facebook, if you've got Facebook, um, we're trying to raise money because recently my wife had to do a, a emergency medical, like minor surgery... That kind of came out of nowhere. And then my son, for people who follow me on Facebook, saw my son cut his uh, index finger working on a school project. And it wasn't a cut. It was a bad cut because he cut it with a handsaw. And uh, he had to get stitches. So there's like three or four stitches. And the medical bills kind of just stacked up like right before we're leaving. So what we're doing um, to try to mitigate that is, uh, because those emergency medical expenses just kind of came out of nowhere um, that really bit into the already depleted funds that we were worried about because we still haven't gotten paid from YouTube yet. We're not going to get paid until the end of this month, which is after everything is over, right? So um, what we're doing is we're holding a gear raffle, a survival gear raffle. It's like $700 worth of stuff, plus there's going to be like four or five additional winners uh, for prizes. So if you want to support us and we get the money immediately, long story short, go over to Facebook, my Drop Forge page. Uh, it's going to be $15 a spot. Um, try to be patient to hold off. Um, and you can, you can go ahead and pay and tell me what slot you want that's open and read the comments, make sure that slot isn't already taken and understand that I'm going to have to do it in order. So if you don't get the slot you want, because I'm on this live stream and everything, that's just how it's going to go. But I want you guys to know if you want to support me that way, that's the absolute best way to do it because the, the raffle is going to be the Friday night raffle on my page. It's going to be 7 30 PM East, uh, central standard time on Facebook page, giving away a lot of cool stuff. Um, so Yes. All right. Back to this. So knife. I rambled for like way too long. So this is a big knife, right? So this is like kind of like my dream knife design. It's kind of like a harpoon knife with a drop point. It's forged. Nice, big, huge, thick, hardy steel blade. I mean, anyone would want a knife like this that loves big knives, right? And everyone does. So I got this and I was like, dude, I dig it, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I always wanted one bigger, like something bigger. So my buddies over at Zombie Go Boom, and yes, I'm actually friends with the guys over there. Uh, Chuck Murray and all of them. Uh, everyone thinks it's weird that I talk to them, like on the phone. They're like, they're just people. Like, they're really cool people with a big channel, but they're still people. Well, we got this. This kind of has a similar vibe to it, right? <laughs> you guys are like, that's a sword. No, this is a sword, brother. So this is the Executioner 2.0. Uh, it's like a sword shetty. It's like just under... 0.28 inches uh, thick. It's a very, very heavy-duty machete. It is humongous, right? So, as far as some of, like, my guilty pleasure blades, I got a full-size sword here. By the way, if you're patient, a give the giveaway item is going to be a sword, a legitimate sword, like a real sword. So if you're into swords and some other survival gear, that's what the giveaway is. So I'm not going to go any further than that. Just get excited and leave comments, say the yay and thank you. So we got, uh, we got a big knife right here. By the way, see how when you put a sword next to it, it like dwarfs it completely. So we had a knife and it had a sword. So I was like, oh my god, what if they made a short sword? Bigger than this, but smaller than that. And whoosh. My dream came true. Uh, my brother from another mother, his name is uh, Jet Skelton over at JBS Blade Works, uh, designed some crazy, like, tactical short swords. I'm putting uh, my big sword away in the sheath so you know what I'm doing. He makes some awesome short swords. He makes them out of CPM3V, 5160, just a whole bunch of awesome steels, ADCRV2. The guy, the guy is a beast. 
he makes some crazy stuff. Like, um, it'll have a vibe to like things like Dan Keffler, Miller Brothers Knives. A lot of these guys that make really, really beefy, hardcore, tactical, short swords and beastie, hardworking, no BS hardware blades make knives similar to that. It's just kind of how it goes. They're they're just ferocious. So um, I can't afford JBS Blade Works' work, and uh, especially now because of all the medical expenses and everything. Like I said, raffle, support me. Raffle tickets are $15 a slot. Love you guys. Oh, by the way, if you don't win, you don't get a refund. That's all, It's a fundraiser like, if you don't get it already. So this came from some awesome people over in Nepal. Where do, what, what's famous in Nepal? What? Huh? Did he just say Nepal? What? What's cool with Nepal? Nepal's famous for making kukris, guys. And this is not a kukri. However, there's a company called Kalish Blades. Uh, do I have a business card? Really? No business card. Okay. Screwed that up somehow. Or maybe it didn't. No, it didn't! <laughs> okay, so out of all of the makers of, like, kukris and stuff in Nepal, uh, the company that Madras Arsenal goes through and Kalish Blades make some of the absolute best kukris on the planet. However, what I like about Kalish Blades is they are not afraid to go outside of the normal spectrum of design and make some crazy, insane, super tough stuff out of 5160. So uh, they had this short sword, which was a collaboration with JBS Knifeworks because I like his stuff, but I can't afford it. It's super expensive. So I talked to Kalish Blades and said, hey, I want to do a video of that. I know it's limited edition. Would you guys be interested? And they kind of blew me off at first, to be frank, and then... Uh, JBS, I told JBS that I was interested and he, they talked and they're like, dude, he's got a cool channel. He loves big knives. He beats them up. He hard use. It'll be good. Blah, blah, blah. He gave me a big shout out. Super big hookup. So they sent me this, like they shipped it like four days ago from Nepal and I already have it. DHL is amazing. For you guys that don't know. Whoopsh, my counterpoint one. That's why I'm gonna do to unbox this bad boy. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this knife. Ah, come on, baby. You can do it. Slice open for me. Just don't be a bad girl. Yeah, okay, good. I get intimate with my knives. You back off. Let me, leave me alone. All right. So I took the Waybill stuff off, but this knife. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, let's just open that up for a minute. <laughs> do you see this this is a really nice really nice leather sheath o m g so this is unpolished rosewood because i told him i wanted a really nice grip quarter inch thick 5160 spring steel guys this thing is amazing now if you follow me on instagram i already gave you guys a sneak peek don't get too intimate. It's dangerous. They are sharp. Yeah, no, we don't get that in intimate. So it has an open back design. You, are you guys ready for this? You sure you're ready for this? <laughs> Do you see this? Oh, man. So, yes. It has oil on it, which is where the sheen's coming from, guys. So this is medium acid etched, hand forged, 14 and a half inch of blade steel right here, guys. This is a big, huge five and a half inch rosewood handle. Really good grip. Flat ground. This thing is insane. This is amazing. And these are made by the same guys who make Kukri's. And... Collars blades, what I like about them is they put a better spring temper on a lot of their uh, kukris and blades, but they aren't afraid to give you a slightly higher Rockwell hardness. The, this Rockwell on this is like 56 to 58, which is typically higher than a lot of kukris. A lot of kukris that I've had to deal with are typically like 52 to 55, which I understand big bulky blades are hitting harder cool, but that makes them dull really, really fast. And the fact that they're willing to temper these to a point where they're a little bit harder, they stay sharper longer, and they still have a really good spring temperature is amazing. So to reemphasize, there's my Yeti. So whoops. See, 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 where the, see where the love and the inspiration came from? Yeah. So we have 
the it's the wasteland short sword by the way it's limited edition they only have like one left they probably already sold it but see how it's just a little bit bigger just a little bit bigger than the yeti and it has a more pronounced harpoon this thing is <laughs> this thing will just get the job done right so you're gonna see a full review on basically the biggest baddest guilty pleasure of my life because i've always wanted like a short sword could work with me anything in this is my personal opinion for a 12 and a half inch blade, any blade that is like under 13 inches, it could be 12.999999 inches long, the blade length, or shorter, it's a knife, okay? Once you get 13.00 or longer, you start working into, in my opinion, short swords or machetes, depending on the thickness. As long as you're 3 16 of an inch thick on the spine or thicker, short sword, in my opinion. So... This is short sword because this is 14 and a half inches. Now, anything between 13 inches to 19 inches, short sword, everything beyond 19 inches is, haha, <laughs> you guys guessed it. You're so smart crowd we got today. It's sword. So whipping my executioner 2.0 out, see the difference? So we got knife. Wow, this is so much steel. Can't fit it all in the frame. So we've got knife. Short sword, sword. I know they're a little bit different, but you get the idea of why I appreciated the very similar vibes from all of them. So yeah, this short sword is just stupid. It's like, this This makes you want to do some really stupid crap in EDC this around town. Luckily, here in San Antonio and in Texas, I can EDC this if I wanted to. Uh, we might get looked that funny, but legally, it's totally okay. Uh, not everywhere. You can't take them into schools and crap like that. Anywhere where like weapons and knives would be illegal, you can't. But I'm talking about like EDCing day to day. If I if I literally put that in the sheath and walked around in Walmart or Lowe's, totally could do it. That, that's that's why I like the knife laws in Texas now. They're so amazing. So, okay, we've had this live stream going for 26 minutes now. You guys have been super amazing, super patient. So, I want to reward you guys with the giveaway. You guys have been freaking awesome. So, you guys have been sticking around. We've been averaging 90 to 100 people the entire freaking time. So we're gonna start working into the giveaway. I'm going to take the, all this other stuff away real quick just so you guys can get a clear picture of what we're doing. Oh, real quick, uh, while I'm putting all this stuff away, um, tomorrow, May 11th, from 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, Olight is doing a flash sale on their PL Mini Valkyrie. You guys have seen the post on the community post, and I did my video yesterday. It's my everyday carry Olight flash sale video. You see a picture of the, the Dutch Channel Olight. Uh, it's 20% off, and they're going to be running for two hours. If you spend 159 bucks or more, uh, you get a free S2A baton flashlight in there with it. So it is a really good way to support our channel. Yeah, we get a commission off of it, but you guys love pew pew lights. So we definitely wanted to make you guys mention of that because I know a lot of guys out there have duty, uh, duty size pew pew, compact pew pew, and subcompact pew pew. So um, that's what that light's for. Uh, a lot of you guys came out in droves last time for um, the uh, the big, huge Olight sale we had on the on the PL2. So this is the PL Mini. So if you guys want to support us, definitely go check out that video. I definitely do have that link in the video description so you guys can watch that here. But we're going to get that stuff that's hidden outside the frame for the giveaway. You guys are amazing, so we're going to make that happen. Let me go put my big old knives away. Okay. So I'm going to bring this out by least cool thing to the most cool thing. Well, in my opinion, anyway. So this short sword is not in the giveaway. If you come at me expecting to get that, you can kiss my butt. You ain't getting that. It ain't yours. It's mine. Okay? Let's get over it. I'm a little loud on my giveaways. So these are the items that are going to be up for grabs. So who can tell me what this is? This is one of the items. This is one of the items. Can you tell me what this is? Someone should know right off the bat. There should be a bunch of people who watch my videos. I put these in like 17 videos. You guys should boss kit. Good job, Brownie Wolf. Yes. The fire boss kit from Sanford Outdoor Supply. Oh, it's still, look, man, it's got, it's got stand up game. <laughs> Does anybody know what this is? Let me know what this is. What is this? What is this? It's giveaway time, guys. You guys should be, I, we should be getting more people in this live stream, not less. <laughs> yes, another boss kit. This is the Navigation Boss Kit by Sanford Outdoor Supply. I actually like showcasing them with all of the stuff inside. 
so you guys can see all the cool Nipsey stuff you're getting. So, a part of this giveaway is going to be the Navigation Boss Kit and the Fire Boss Kit. I think land navigation and being able to start a fire are incredibly important aspects of a survival kit. Bug out bag, all that good stuff. So we're giving, giving those away. Huge, awesome stuff. If you guys want to see the contents, like, look, that's the Fire Boss. So after this video is over, you can read all that. Lighter, steel wool, char cloth, tea light candles, whole nine. Super amazing stuff. But... <clears throat> This is the giveaway item, the main man pajama. Right here. <laughs> you guys are like, that's not fair. I couldn't see it. Don't worry. I'll take it out and give a slow-mo for you. Ooh, yeah. Oh, what is this? What is that? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I told you I was giving away a sword. This is the ZGB Zombie Killer Sword. It's the Roman Gladius. Yes, it is a Roman short sword. It's got a sheath. This is brand new. It is a quarter inch thick. 1095 high carbon spring steel. Black Cerakoted. Super insanely sharp. We have really nice micarta handle scales that are multi-layered micarta. This is amazing. As far as this is legit. If you want a modern reproduction of a short sword and you like gladiuses and stuff, this is the jam. This is the tatas. This is amazing. And I love this sword to death. However, respectfully, really doesn't fit my channel. Guilty pleasure moment all the way. Don't get it twisted. I love these guys, but I wanted to do a giveaway. Perfect for Mother's Day, wink. Yeah, I guarantee, yeah, I bet. <laughs> So we're going to be giving away a fire boss kit and a land navigation boss kit. We want to definitely give a huge shout out to Alan Stanford at Stanford Outdoor Supply. He's always been really sweet, really supportive of our channel and our mission and everything we've done to make sure. So you definitely got to go over to Stanford Outdoor Supply. We'll definitely put a, a affiliate link down there too. He's just been awesome. And the reason I like him so much is because he does a lot of the cheap uh, budget from the gear that doesn't suck. He makes sure he puts good stuff. I mean, that's Bronton True Arc 3. You've got really cool map reading tools. We have really high grade stuff. And some of it is imported, but it's really good stuff that actually works. He field tests that stuff on his own. So one lucky winner is going to be getting a ZGB Zombie Roman Gladius sword. It's a real sword. Cordon's Think 1095 Spring Steel. Uh, you can buy these at like Colts of Athena. Uh, they're uh, something around like $125 to $140. Something like that. And you're going to get these two boss kits. So you can slay zombies while you're trying to find your way to get back to your base camp, make a fire, save a family. Woo! See how we worked that out? So here are the rules. The rules for the giveaway. The official unadulterated rules. If you want to know the rules, you got to pay attention. Now pay attention. Use your, use your minds. Use your, use your amazingness. Use those awesome brains that your um, higher than above creator gave you. Whatever you want to call it. For me, it's Jesus. Leave it alone if you don't like them. Whatever. Take it or leave it. So you're going to use your intelligence. You need to be a subscriber. After this live stream is over, it's going to process and render and become a normal video on the channel. Right now it's just streaming live. So after the live stream is over, I need you to comment and share and like the video. So you got to be a subscriber. You got to comment. You got to like. And you got to share the video out for a chance to win this. Now, what we're going to be doing... Once we get to PrepperCon, which is next week, by the way, like literally exactly one week away from today, we are going to host a live stream day one of PrepperCon while I'm there. I'm going to be live at PrepperCon, and I'm going to live stream using my wife's phone and all of them get gizmos and gadgets, and we're going to pick a winner live. But the thing is, is we use a random comment generator, which is why I want you guys to pay attention. Wait until after the live stream to make an official comment and entry for the giveaway. You hear that? how that works? So the three things that I've kind of made, uh, made announcements for is we got some cool knives coming. If you want to support me and my channel, go to my Facebook page, which is Drop Floor Survival. We have a raffle going on, $15 a spot. You can support us that way. Giveaway. I gave you the entry rules so you know what they are. Pay attention. Hope you guys, you follow the rules. Because if you don't follow the rules, I can't pick you. So you got to be a subscriber. You got to like. You got to comment. You got to share. Additionally, if you guys want to support us, down in the video description is going to be a link to Olight's flash sale for the PL Mini. 
uh, self-defense pew pew flashlight. It's going to be 20% off free shipping. And if you spend over $159, you also get the uh, S2A baton. Oh, by the way, so sneak peek announcement, random bonus content. So you guys have seen this. This is my EDC organizer survival kit. I've actually revamped this thing almost all the way to the nines. If you saw the original video... <coughs> Uh, I don't know where I was going with this. Oh, yeah. So we're going to have some bonus content, but look at that. Yeah. Can you guys tell me what's in there, what that is? And in the comment section, you let me know what that is. So bonus content right there. Yeah. So we've got some awesome stuff coming you guys' way. But, yeah, so bonus content. Um, oh, that's why I pulled this out. Man, I'm getting old, right? Yes, it's a silky pocket boy. So you actually get the Olight S2A baton, and if you think I'm just peddling product, this is the actual flashlight that's in my survival kit. It stays right there. If we leave the house, it goes in my glove box. This kit never leaves my side, and I trust Olight with my life, literally. So literally, that's why I don't have a, uh, a problem pushing Olight products, when, especially when they do the sales, because they save you guys money, and they help me and my channel, uh, me and my channel, my family pay our bills. I think it's a win-win. You get a discount, we make money, all I get sales, and you're getting stuff that I trust my life with my life and I put in my own survival kits. So I want you guys to know that. But anyway, I love you guys to death. Free sword, by the way, if you're under 18. Um, if you happen to win and you're under 18, I'm going to have to get in contact on social media, be able to talk to your parents, possibly have a phone call, and make sure they're cool with it first. Because I do know there are some chitlins over young under 18 in here, so i got to let you guys know that. You guys can still enter, but you have to um, do that. So, giveaway, boss kit, all stuff, Roman Gladius, I love you guys. And I'm just going to have this really awkward silence for like 30 seconds so you guys can all catch up, and then I'm just going to end the live stream. Woo! Giveaway, awesome knives, cool stuff, support us, woo!